Do you have too much stuff on your computer and you badly need more memory? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and us creative types, I'm thinking vloggers, bloggers, animators, photographers, and yeah, even you developers, we always need more room on a hard drive. Sure, we could be really good at file management, but who has time for that? Enter an aftermarket internal storage drive. The WD Blue SN550 NVMe Solid State Drive is a powerful, cost effective storage solution for a desktop or a laptop. I'd like to thank Western Digital for sponsoring this post. While they have sponsored this blog and video, they have not told me what I can or can't say, so you can consider these thoughts my own. Now, in this video, I'm not going to dazzle you with a whole lot of confusing sounding detailed specs. You can get those from other reviews or off the website, frankly. I am here to tell you what those specs can actually do for your PC and how this little stick might fit into some of the upgrades you might want to make. Adding internal storage essentially lets you boost your PC's performance when creating content or working with multiple applications. It can be a big boost to those of us who work with large files, and I'm looking at graphic designers, architects, you get the idea. Now here I'm checking out the one terabyte version, but you can get these up to two terabytes if you need a lot more power. The 250 gig version starts at about $65 Canadian, by the way, since these sticks are meant to balance speed and affordability. And if you think you need something faster and you're not so worried about the budget, you can also look at WD's black line. But back to the blue, WD Blue SN550 NVMe is a single-sided, very small SSD or solid state drive. But what does that mean? An SSD is a bit different than a standard drive. While they both perform the same basic functions, that is storing your important data, hard drives are essentially spinning metal disks and the data is accessed when they're powered and in motion. A solid state drive, by contrast, will store your data on connected flash memory microchips, which makes SSD drives faster and quieter since there are no moving parts. Understandably, these drives tend to cost a bit more than traditional hard drives. SSD storage is also fast, and here it can deliver speeds of up to 2600 megabytes per second. What does this mean, and what do you really get from that? Things like games or videos will load about four times faster than a standard SATA SSD, and you'll see less lag when working on projects across multiple applications. Now, I'm not set up for speed tests, but if you don't believe me, you can check out some other YouTubers who are, and the WD Blue SN550 NVMe seems to win plenty of them. Now, just one example that hits close to my own heart, if you're editing a video and uploading another one at the same time, something I do a lot, in most cases you shouldn't see a slowdown. One final point on choosing an SSD, because there's no moving parts, it's not going to create as much heat inside your device, and anyone who's ever dealt with a really warm computer on a hot day knows that can also contribute to slowdowns. Another key thing to know, particularly if you're not Steve Jobs building his own computer in the garage, this is an M2 drive, which just means it's a really small form factor solid state drive meant for internally mounted storage expansion cards. M2 just means you're getting a high performance storage device that's ideal for thin, power limited devices like laptops or tablet computers. I'm going to spell out one more acronym here. This device uses what's called DRAMless, or maybe I'll just call it DRAMless technology. If you've seen this term in your hunt for a memory stick, here's what it's all about. DRAM stands for Dynamic Random Access Memory, and in a nutshell for us average Janes and Joes, this is simply a shortcut to a map to the minuscule memory cells where the memory card hides your data so that it can find what you need. DRAM technology tends to make memory a lot more expensive, so WD has gone DRAMless here to help keep this gadget affordable and to keep the power consumption down a big deal for laptops. How does a DRAMless device find your data then? It just doesn't take the shortcut. But since we're talking milliseconds, it's probably not something you could even catch with a stopwatch. Getting this drive set up is actually really easy too. Just take off the cover of your CPU or your laptop, then locate the M2 drive slot. Insert the drive into the slot the correct way around and then screw the screw into the other end to hold it in place. Some computers may come with this screw already inside or you may need to locate one. You can then either clone your disk and copy everything over or start fresh and install Windows all over again. 
Okay, the lessons are over. Overall, if you need internal memory for your PC, the WD Blue SN550 NVMe Solid State Drive is a powerful, cost-effective storage solution for a desktop or a laptop. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up posted. And there you can ask me any questions you might have about this little magic memory stick. Uh, you can also post questions here on the YouTube channel as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.